Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteline Reviewer, and I got to check out this smaller indie film from 2018 on Hulu, and this is The House of Tomorrow. And I wasn't quite sure what to expect from this. Usually what I do is, like, I go on Rotten Tomatoes every week and see, like, the releases, and if anything even catches my eye a little bit, I'll throw it on my Netflix DVD queue so I could keep it around, and usually Hulu pops up with a lot of smaller films that I can appreciate. This one, I actually got to watch on Hulu through my Showtime subscription, so this is on Showtime, and it's a small indie film about this young man who lives with his grandmother, and they run this, like, futurist dome kind of thing, and they do tours and stuff like that, and that's what they believe in. And then they come across this religious youth group run by Nick Offerman and has his son Alex Wolf in the group and daughter Maud Apatow. And Asa Butterfield, who plays this young man, he befriends, or at least tries to befriend Alex Wolf's character as Asa Butterfield's character is kind of shut off from the world. And what they really connect over is punk rock music. Now, I am not a fan of punk rock music at all, and that's for, like, another time. I'm not going to go railing into punk rock. But the thing is, I can understand somebody really connecting with music and this helping them grow and connecting with other people. And I feel like this film, written, by, written and directed by Peter Lavolsi, it's a really good little coming-of-age story, and I feel like it works... You feel the connection between these characters, and you can really tell why Sebastian, Asa Butterfield's character, really is looking out trying to connect with people, because he lives this life where he's just with his grandmother. And basically his life revolves around this futurist idea, and him trying to widen his horizons. And this is a very relatable coming-of-age thing, because we all come from our own backgrounds and our own perspectives. And college was this for me, where you go off and you try to make something that's very you and come up with your own ideas and experience things that help shape you as a person. And you can really feel this connection with Asa Butterfield and Alex Wolf. And Alex Wolf is dealing with like health issues and he is struggling and you can see why he has that connection with punk rock music because it's very rebellious and he's in this point in his life where he's kind of just stuck with dealing with all these health issues and it's kind of where his life is defined and you can tell his dad played by Nick Offerman who does a really good job in this film being s sincere and really you can see him realistically being that really caring but stringent because he's afraid parent and trying to keep boundaries for his son to keep him safe. And Alex Wolf's character wants to rebel against those things, and Asa Butterfield's character wants to rebel against the structure that his grandmother puts on him in terms of their beliefs. And really dealing with all these different belief systems and these two young men rebelling and trying to find their own way, I feel like that's really, really relatable and resonates well in this film, and I think that's the big part of this film that really works well. And it's a good thing that this is a central piece, because there's some other things like Ace of Butterfield developing these feelings toward Maud Apatow's character, Alex Will's sister, and like, that doesn't really... that wasn't something very memorable or really impactful about the film for me, but I feel like it was just another thing to kind of pad the runtime because this film's like an hour and 25 minutes. This is like a short, condensed kind of thing, but everybody has great chemistry with each other because Asa Butterfield and Alex Wolf both do really good jobs in this film. And when they're like, especially when they're doing their punk rock music, and you can really feel that angst coming out of them. And then Nick Offerman is a great supporting role in this. And Ellen Burstyn also does a great job in this film as the grandmother, and it's important that these young actors who are the leads in this film have those supporting veteran actors in this film, and they all really come together to make this film work. And 
like this film isn't anything particularly exciting in terms of like a technical perspective. It's pretty it's there, it's point and shoot kind of has that indie film atmosphere to it and it works. It's nothing in particularly like groundbreaking. This film isn't super groundbreaking. This isn't like eighth grade. This is a good small indie film that I feel like is worth a watch. And if you have Showtime, check it out, or whenever this pops up on other streaming sites, I think The House of Tomorrow is worth your time. It's a nice little film. And comment, let me know what you think, or if you have any other questions, or if you've seen the film, let me know what your thoughts are. But thank you as always supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.